Christina from HauntedFlower.com and HauntedFlowerReviews.com. Wanting you to check out HauntedFlower.com this week because we finally got in our soft kitty plush toys that sing a little song from the Big Bang Theory. Totally cute. Um, but right now I'm going to do some DVD and Blu-ray reviews. First one's going to be for A Better Life. Then the Blu-ray for Crazy Stupid Love. And then a documentary called Tabloid on DVD. Start with A Better Life. This is from a director, Chris Weitz, from uh, the director of About a Boy. And this is the story of the relationship between a father and son. The father is from Mexico. He is not officially a U.S. citizen. He does not have a driver's license. And he is doing the best he can to try and make a good life for his son, working odd jobs, usually gardening, trying to make money so that this kid can have a good go of it. But the kid, in the meantime, is getting a little bit involved with gangs at school, and so father's worried about him. Father is played by Demian Beecher, and the son is played by Jose Julian. And I have to say, these are amazing performances in this movie. The father, like, you don't have a heart if you are not won over by this dad as he watches his son. He's just so earnest, he cares so much, and his son is at that crappy teenage age where you treat your parents like crap because they embarrass you and, you know, you think you know better than them. But through the movie, they grow closer. Um, the father has this situation where he might be able to advance current state of living if he buys a truck and he borrows money from a family member to try and make this happen. And then there are some complications with the truck. And these two together try to work that out. They go on a journey. Uh, and it's, oh, it's just so rough. And you feel for both of them. This lead dad here definitely should have some nominations for acting this year. This is one of the best movies I have seen this year. It should be a Heartland Truly Moving Picture if it isn't. And seriously, good movie. Um, for extra bonus features, there's audio commentary with the director, and he explains a lot of the choices he made, and it's very interesting commentary. There are some deleted scenes where you get to see just a little bit more of, you know, the kid's relationship with his friends, and there's just a few other added things that didn't end up being absolutely necessary later on in the movie, and there's a music video. So... Definitely check this out. Get a rental. Next is Crazy Stupid Love. I originally missed the screening for this one, as this was the first time I got to see it. And I was pleasantly surprised. I really loved the trailer. I had a lot of doubts on if this movie could really be good. And I was wrong. It's really good. It stars Steve Carell, Julianne Moore. You've got Emma Stone, Ryan Gosling, Marissa Tomei, and Kevin Bacon. It's a ridiculous cast. There are a few different storylines going on in the plot. Steve Carell's character and Julianne Moore's character have been married for a very long time. They have children together, but it's revealed that she has been cheating on him with Kevin Bacon. This is heartbreaking for him. He doesn't know what to do. He goes out to a bar a few nights a week and he comes into contact with Ryan Gosling, this smooth Lothario type character who can get with any woman. and. He kind of helps Steve Carell through a makeover process to reclaim his manhood. So basically there's the healing of the Steve Carell character as he learns how to date again and what he really wants in life if he wants to go back after his wife again or whatever. In the meantime, later on you also have the Ryan Gosling character meeting the Emma Stone character and she is a different type of girl for him and he has to figure that out and react to it. And then also in the meantime, um, their pictures aren't on here because they don't have abs like this, but um, the son character is in love with his babysitter. It's kind of a sweet, endearing, strange story. The babysitter is also in love with somebody else. All these things will be revealed through the course of the movie. I don't want to go into it and give any spoilers, but I just have to say the relationships are well developed. I really like the dialogue. I like the setup in a lot of these scenes. There's only one scene that really broke my heart because it becomes a disaster. It ends with a bunch of guys rustling on the ground. It's so bad. I wish we could have seen the good version of what would have happened there, but it was important to the plot, so what are you going to do? Worth checking out, and apparently every girl my age who's seen, who's seen this movie now has like a newfound crush on Ryan Gosling. Gotta admit, he's not personally my type, but I think he does well in this movie. For bonus features, there isn't actually much. You just have Steve and Ryan walk into a bar where Steve Carell and Ryan Gosling kind of 
poke fun at being the most important people in the cast. And, you know, there's other people in the movie, but it doesn't matter. And they're just kind of sitting around being funny. The player meets his match, where Ryan Gosling and Emma Stone talk about how they had to form their relationship on screen and how Ryan has a bromance with Steve Carell and also some deleted scenes. Finally, we have Tabloid. This is a funny one. I was attracted to it because I saw a trailer for it and it looked hilarious. This is a film by Errol Morris. It's a documentary that follows the story of really strange adventures of Joyce McKinney. Joyce McKinney is this beautiful blonde girl. She was a beauty queen. She fell in love with this Mormon guy and became convinced that if she could just get him away from the Mormons and have sex with him for a while, she could bring him back from, you know, the dark side or whatever. And what follows is a hilarious story of how it gets blown out of proportion that she kidnapped him and did all this stuff and it just gets sillier and sillier. At first she loves the fame and plays it up and does all sorts of silly publicity stunts. Then she turns away from the fame, has these personal problems. All sorts of goofy things like cloning her dog. She's just had a very strange life. You don't know whether to believe her or give her a hug or lock her up. It's ridiculous. And I just thought it was a really funny story about this girl kidnapping this guy and she's going to convert him from Mormonism or something. Very, very silly. Worth a rental if you want a good laugh documentary. It's well done. So the winner out of this group is Crazy Stupid Love for the one that you might want to own, particularly if you are a girl, but I think it's accessible to guys, even if you're not attracted to Ryan Gosling's ridiculous photoshopped abs. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you'll come see me next time for some more movie reviews, anime reviews, TV, DVD, Blu-ray reviews. See you next time. Bye. For more reviews and to find out about free contest giveaways, go to hauntedflowerreviews.com. My reviews are also available as a podcast on iTunes. Search for Haunted Flower Reviews and subscribe and leave us feedback and comments. Our store is hauntedflower.com, where we specialize in fantastic licensed apparel from movies, TV shows, video games, anime, and more. So you can find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash hauntedflower and Twitter at haunted underscore flower. If you're local to the Indianapolis area, visit IndieMojo.com for details on how you can win free screening passes.